Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the bug style approach to the casino heist. And this is the most simplest way, in my opinion, to complete the casino heist. It is all stealth. Um, you can do it with two people, no problem. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously walk straight through all past all them security guards to this office. And we're going to go to the keypad. And this is a pretty simple hack. You just got to identify each pattern to the big thumbprint on the right hand side and you do it with ease once you're in there you go into this lift all the way down to the basement and once you're through here this is where it gets stealthy you're gonna knock this guy out straight up i did make a little bit of a mistake where i bumped into him first off and then i pistol whipped him so i kind of got away of it um, but try not to do that if you can help it yourselves the main guy now is the one who's in the center in the desk walking backwards and forwards as you saw we've got two guards going to the right and then they go back again to the left once those two guards go back you're going to make your move and you're going to knock this guy out in the desk whilst he's looking away from you easy man and then your associate is going to come over and he's going to unlock this security door with his key card or you can do it yourself if you'd prefer in my case he's going to go in there now knock out that security guard in there so we don't have eyes on him and straight through here, we're going to synchronize our cards this time. Don't worry about the security guards that you missed beforehand because whilst you're here, you're going to be out of their cone of view. So they're not going to see you. So it's not a big deal. So once you synchronize your card swipes, run down to the man trap to the vault entrance. You're going to obviously drill it. It's a pretty simple task. Once you're through, you're just going to go and you're going to line your pockets with as much cash as you can like literally in my case i had like two and a half minutes and there's only two of us and we get like 987,000, which isn't too shabby and i had three seconds left to get out of the vault and that's very important as well guys you need to make sure you're out of that vault before the time expires because if you don't the alarms will go off and the stealth will be over now this is the next stealthy part you'll see on the left hand side of the screen we've got a security guard now walking through those double doors you need to wait for him to be out of sight then you're going to make your move to this guy right here pistol whip him take him out straight through the double door doors as quick as you can in my opinion this stealth works better with speed so whilst you're doing this you're now going to take out this guy once he walks past you whilst you're doing this your associate is going to be key card on the stairwell and then once you've done this you can go straight to the stairs and up uh, but when you get to the stairs and you need to make sure that you don't get seen by the camera at the top of the stairs so stay close to the left hand side of the wall sneak around and then straight up to the stairs and it's going to be level g i believe it is which is yeah, ground level. Then you're going to take this guy out as soon as you get to the top of the stairs, around the left-hand side of the lift shaft, through these double doors, and then this door on the left, you'll see a security guard through there. Take him out straight up as soon as possible. And then there's another guard to the left down this corridor. I didn't have to worry about him because he was quite a far away from us, and we've got to go now to the right into the locker room. But if obviously if you, have to, if you have to deal with him, it's worth knowing that there is another guard there. In my case, I didn't need to deal with him, um, but some of you guys might have to. And then once you've um, got into a locker room, it's pretty easy, man. You, you, you're in your noose outfit. They're not looking for you specifically. So once you're in your noose outfit, you, you're pretty much home free. They're, they're not looking for two police officers, um, which have just ripped them off. So once you're in your noose, you know, you haven't really got anything to worry about. As long as you're not, you know, walking around with your gun out or shooting or bumping into people as long as you're just walking straight through you've got no worries whatsoever and then you're just basically going to walk through the casino and out the front door with nine hundred and eighty seven thousand um, dollars which isn't too shabby for the two of us i think it's pretty good i know obviously you can do it with four people uh, but then you get a little bit more money but then the cuts are bigger so then you might not end up getting more money in the long run um so this is the perfect way to do it with just the two of you it's pretty easy um, as you can see as long as you're you're stealthy enough in the parts where it needs to be stealthy you know you do it with ease man and um, this is my favorite method to do it because you can get in and out you can do this mission easily in under 15 minutes you know and this is an easy way to make some money uh, but yeah this is the most effective way of doing the casino heist in my opinion and then like i said straight for the casino then you're home free so that's going to be the end of the video guys so guys did enjoy this one if you did please smash a like if it helped you out in any kind of way also hit the like button if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios